Welcome to my channel. I'm Jan Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 22 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So there we can see we have a single loop. It's placed inside a solenoid. In this way, right? It's this plane perpendicular to the axis of the solenoid. And then we know the A1 of the loop and the n torus of the solenoid and A2 of the solenoid. So this is A2. This is A1. Now tell us the current flows in the solenoid follows this equation. You can say it changes with time t, right? And then ask you what is the induced EMF in this small loop. So this one we can see as we talk about in this chapter. The induced EMF comes from the changing, the changed magnetic flux divided by time taking, right? Yes. So it looks like we need to find this equation. Agree? Yes. So n is how many turns for this small loop? One turn. And then this is phi is the magnetic flux in this small loop. So use the magnetic field as times A1. Agree? As we can see, A1 is given, it's constant. So it looks like we need to find the B. How the magnetic field changes with time? And then where this magnetic field changes just go through the small loop? So I know it, right? So we need to find the magnetic field of, from this solenoid as mu naught n i. Agree? Yes. And you can see mu naught is given, n is given, we need to I is follow this equation, right? So we can write the magnetic flux in this small loop as B times A1. Now you can say we input the B inside. The equation comes becomes this one, right? Because only current change with time, right? And then we can say the equation for current is given, so we do the derivation current with time t. We get the term look like this one and reorganize it and replace capital N as one. We get the answer there. Thank you.